Right, so I'm currently at VRS. I've just arrived here with Kai in the car. School holidays, Kai wanted to come along for the journey today, which probably wasn't a good idea because it was a pretty dangerous journey up here today. And I'm gonna explain why shortly. So today's video, we're gonna get Will involved. Will here as well. Um, and talk about Project S3 and um, what further problems we've found with this car. All right, see you in a bit. Right guys, so yeah, Project S3. So obviously you, if you watch the introduction video to this car, you'll know that there is a long list of problems with this car, right? Little things like a bit of damage on the bonnet there, the glove box, yeah, it just, just doesn't work. I'll show you exactly what happens with the glove box when you try to open it. It just falls on the floor. This screen's broken here. The wheels need a little refurb and we've got odd tires everywhere. Just usual old car stuff, right? It's also, where's Kai? In the background there somewhere. Kai's got his scooter. Loving that scooter, ain't you, Kai? Yeah. It's also got a running issue. It's got a blown exhaust, cylinder four misfire. Uh, it's in limp mode. The engine management light flashes sometimes and then doesn't flash. And it's got loads of problems. But there is another problem with this car as well. Because on the way up here, Kai, it was it was like wobbling, wasn't it? Um, Explain, what was it like? Was it dodgy? Was it good? We were dodgy. Well, on the way, it's wobbling on one part of the road. So basically, yeah, it's wobbling a lot from the rear end. I ain't got a clue what's wrong with it. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's the back wheel. We did pull over, had a look at the wheels. There is a wheel bolt missing in each wheel, but the wheels, they didn't seem like they're falling off, all right? So what we're going to do is, uh, Will has just had a quick look at the car. He didn't seem too impressed with it. Well, no, that's a bit of a lie. He was quite impressed with it, but he's like, Calv. Do you know what? We won't even talk about that. Let's get it up on a ramp. Let him look underneath. Look at the rear suspension. Look at the rear brakes as well, because the brakes. Do you know that's something else we ain't talked about? The brakes. Yesterday I parked the car on the drive. I come out ten minutes later and it wasn't on the drive. It was. Um, it was in the road, wasn't it? Yeah, ain't my parking, mate. Are you sure about that? It's the Audi S3. So yeah, a lot to do with this car. Uh, let's get it up on the ramp and see what Will thinks of it. Will, <laughs> we are back with uh, another bit of a project, isn't it? Yeah, another. Volkswagen Audi car. Yeah. So it's an S3, 8P. Yeah. And you bought it from BCA, did bought you? It from BCA. Unseen. Unseen. <laughs> yeah. But it's a, it's a, it's a nice colour, isn't it? It's a nice colour. It's sprint blue. Sprint blue. Sprint yeah. Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 125,000 miles. Ain't yep. horrendous mileage, is it? No, not really. I mean, you anything high mileage is just how it's been looked after through its life. Of course. So we try and avoid tuning anything really high miles because we don't know the history of it. But if it's like a car that's been kept really, really well, then it's a different story then, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, of course. But How does this car visualize, like, does it look like it's a well-kept car to you? It's, it looks like somebody spent some money on tuning and things, but maybe not so much on the mechanical side of it, I mm -hmm. think, ultimately. But I don't know, I don't know the history. Obviously so. we don't know, but like, it's got the forged carbon intake. Forged carbon intake, some of it's connected, some of it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dun, and then dun, um, <laughs> the dipstick, standard dipsticks broke the seal, so that leaks. Um, so when it leaks, sucks air in there. The other thing was I noticed that there's no clip on the vacuum takeoff, so that just comes off there. So that'd be a potential big boost leak. The Long. pipe here, and that just falls off there. The pipe there, I don't know if you can see right now, let me get a torch. Mm -hmm. That's perfect, yeah. The pipe for the fuel pump's just cracked oh. all the way down to the. Oh, no. Inside, so that's a that's a fuel You're pressure. Just about to see that, disaster yeah. about to happen there. So, mate, I'm not gonna lie. It was a a, a white knuckle ride up here. Honestly, well, I've driven some we'll, we'll dodgy send cars, it, mate. We'll this, send it up and see why. Yeah. <laughs> this car was dangerous. It was a dangerous journey. It's also got a downpipe on it, so I'm I'm thinking that this car is probably stage two. Really? So ultimately. Um, we'll check the software, hopefully it's been tuned by somebody decent and oh, then nice. um, we won't have to retune it but if we do then we'll, we'll change the tune in if it's, not, if it's not right but if it's right then we'll leave it. Leave the, it as it is. Um, so hold on, let's we'll check the on that DV. Really. So, what a 265 brake standard? Yep. And yeah. we'll true stage a two. Stage two, two plus is yeah. normally around about 360 depending on who Blimey. tunes it. Blimey, so that's yeah. a big increase in it but obviously so. we don't know. 
just yet? Not at the minute, no. And obviously this is a manual car. Yeah. So we don't know the clutch or anything. So of course. what we're going to do is put everything right in the top, all the little bits. Um, we'll remove the intake, replace some of the clips, clean it all out, clean any debris out. We'll put a camera down into the turbo, make sure the compressor wheel of the turbo is undamaged, things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will be. Uh, and then things like the battery. Battery, battery's not clamped in. We'll clamp the battery in. It uh, actually needs a new battery wheel, by the way. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's too big anyway. So we'll put another battery on it. Cool. Um, we will also check everything else in the top of the bay. Probably check the antifreeze, make sure it's not old and contaminated. Drop it out if it needs dropping out, and then replace that. We'll change the oil. We're going to set the sump off. Okay. Because the mileage on this particular one, and because it, it's tuned, and um, we'll take the sump off. Mm -hmm. We will. We'll, look at the oil pump pickup pipe. Mm -hmm. So any bits of carbon debris that are in the engine tend to block it up. Okay. So we'll replace that anyway, yeah. but we'll check it. And uh, we'll take the rock cover off as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll also just check that the cams aren't uh, worn or pitted mm -hmm. from corrosion. And so all of this is just a matter of like precaution, maintenance? Yep. Yeah, because of the mileage and it's because it's tuned, <laughs> yeah. it's different, it's, it's highly strung compared to a stock one. So yeah. um, we'll also check the chain, chain and tensioner as well. Dogs barking. <laughs> Someone's down the front. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll check the we'll check the chain, check the tensioner, make sure that's okay as well. But we'll do all that. So yeah, we'll 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 check that out. There's a few other bolts. There's a couple of screws missing out, there, out of the manifold here. <laughs> and there's a little rattle noise noise that's coming from the engine. What we'll do is we'll take the inlet manifold off. Yep. And um, we'll check the dividers in the head, mm -hmm. just to make sure they're not cracked or split. Because um, we've seen them recently where they break. Oh, right. Um, and then that can cause issues as well. We'll check, make sure it's not carboned up. It's just, it's a lot of work, but it's not because ultimately you're just taking everything off, checking it, cleaning it, and putting it back on okay. with various new bits. So it's a lot of labour for you, but not necessarily no, a lot of not new parts. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. That's so exactly not a lot what of cost in both parts. But what like. we don't want to do is, we don't want to think it's something massively drastic. Let's just check all the bits. Because yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, if somebody, so well, when somebody wins this car, we'll try and make, we'll try and do everything we can to make it as right as we can. Yeah, yeah. Um, but ultimately, the, the engine seems okay. I'll do a compression test on it and everything. I'll yeah, make sure yeah. it's all good. So that's that's pretty much the engine. The gearbox felt all right. The gearbox feels all right. Obviously, that's the clutch cool. feels all right, but it no power because it ain't running right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but we'll check all that. Clutch and gearbox story feels okay to me. Yeah. Uh, the cylinder four misfire. Is that something you're concerned about? Is that something? Well, um, obviously, you haven't looked into it. Doesn't sound particularly bad. I haven't looked into it. And I mean, the worst case scenario is it's got a broken ring landing. Okay. And then that's. Just, yeah, we're going we're, we're to have to source a second hand engine rather than rebuilding it. But our, our sort of ears are telling us there ain't no internal engine. I don't think there is. Sounds awesome. Right, no, but uh, the problem is I don't know. So I have to look at all the other. So basically, to cause a misfire on one of these could be the flap broke in the head. Yeah. Could be a spark plug, an injector, or a coil pack, obviously. Mm -hmm. It can also be the cam lobes as well. Okay. So the cam lobes, um, especially down this end here, Underneath this box, they get, um, it's like uh, they corrode, which yeah. is basically from short journeys where the moisture has not gone from the cam. Oh, okay. So they get condensation inside on the cam lobe and then they go pitted. Mm -hmm. And then the um, uh, the roller rockers then pit as well. And it, sometimes it holds the valves open. Oh, right. So because of the extra height, so that can, that can well, I'm presuming that's why it does it, but that, that can cause it as well. So okay. that could mean another camshaft or something like that. All right. So, but again, it's all it's all hearsay. Yeah, it's all hearsay at the minute. Lots of worst case scenarios. It might just also... take the plug out, and the plug could just exactly. Be yeah, it could be something. And it could be. It doesn't need anything. What I've said, mate. So I now I've scared you to death. I'm that's a lucky guy. So I've been crossed. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. right. No, and then obviously we'll just replace. We'll take the fuel pump out because mm -hmm. we don't we don't know it's a two or a two plus. We know it's a stage two potentially because mm -hmm. it's got a downpipe. It's also got the intake. We don't know if it's a two plus. A two plus means it's got a high pressure fuel pump okay. internals mm -hmm. or a different pump in it. Yeah. Now looking at the pump externally, it doesn't look like an APR or a lower pump because there's no sticker or markings on it. So it's a stock looking pump. It could have. But what that could mean is internal. it's got a Viz internal okay. or a, an Autotech internal or, or one of the company's internals. But we'll take that out and check. That's quite easy. When you take it out, you can tell by the pump shaft mm -hmm. and by the end of it as well how it's fitted normally. Okay. And uh, depending on if it's an Autotech, they have collets that go in. 
Mm -hmm. uh, if it's a viz, then it's put back like standard, but the, the shaft's different, so you can tell by that. Brilliant. So that's that's the so basic. That out, yeah, that's brilliant. We'll, we'll have a quick look at the cam belt. Um, have you got any news on that whenever it was done, or? I haven't. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll that. have a quick look at it, and then you know things like that. If it if it looks okay and it's or it's got any information that's been done, then that doesn't need. Yeah, to we'll have a look so. in paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the engine bay. Everything else looks alright. I mean, it's all nice and neat here, and this all looks original. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's for me. I'm not an expert on crash damage, but looking at the inner wings, it all looks original. It all looks straight. Yeah. Even like paint-wise, it's got the original, like unlacquered engine bay colour, which is nice. Yeah. So there's a few bits on the outside, obviously, but you know, for an 07 car, it's normal. It's not horrendous. But we'll try you said there's done. a headlight out, didn't you? It's got a headlight out. It's actually one of the Zens. I think it's this one here. So hopefully, that's either a bulb. Um, okay. Well, it's going to be a bulb or the, you know, the controller. So okay. uh, hopefully it's just a bulb. Yeah. So exactly. that will be a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Um, wipers. It needs a set of wipers. Front the rear and wiper rear. Is the rear wipers like hanging down. Like this. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the wiper blade. Sorry, the wiper blade. The wiper blade. blade yeah. yeah. So uh, it's got the alley mirrors, obviously, anyway, on mm -hmm. these, which is nice. Um, Should we get it up and get yeah, underneath? Yeah, it up and we'll have a look. So brake pads and discs look like they got, there's not really hardly any lip on the disc, the pads look okay on the front. That's interesting because um, yesterday when I got the car home, right, I parked it on the drive, come out 10 minutes later, yeah, after parking on the drive, Clyde, where was the car? On the road. On the road. <laughs> in the road. Yeah, the handbrake was on, so the front brakes are looking good, yeah? So the handbrake does the rears. It does the rears, of course, yeah. No, anyway, so we'll head out, we'll head there in a minute. Yeah. Have a quick look at this, so you've got, Oil leak from this boost hose, that's just something we're going to remove. This boost pipe here, it's not connected to anything. Uh huh. Um, so we'll remove that, clean it, and then fit it back with the correct parts. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's still threads in the hole, which is the bolt missing. Um, looking under here, all looks okay. Gearbox doesn't look wet. That's what she said. It's all them women you got after you, innit, Will? Uh, no. <laughs> no wish. <laughs> Don't tell my wife though. I haven't really got a wife. If anybody wants to be my wife, then just let me know. <laughs> Marriage proposal um, here on YouTube. So right. A bit, a bit of a leak from here, which is more than likely going to be uh, the breather on the transfer. We'll wash that down, just check the transfer oil. Mm -hmm. um, the CV boots look okay. Mate, he's talking quite positively. This is all going. Oh, that one wants a clip on it. Yeah. Uh, but that, but that, that's, that's okay, we can check at that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so far, it doesn't look too bad. The rear, so an S3 has a solid rear bush on the arm. Okay. So, and they have aluminium arms compared to like the Golf who have steel arms. These look all right. So, Brilliant. so this is your decat down pipe, so three inch, and it's a Miltec. No, so it has a Miltec. Three. Bloody hell, it's got a Miltec exhaust. Yeah, it looks like that's sealed up to the turbo, it's not leaking. From as far as I can see, that's good. Pop shaft donut looks okay there. But we do have a blow on the exhaust, don't we, Will? Slight problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's like taped the exhaust together with Jubilee clips. <laughs> so, okay. Is that slap wrist to whoever owned this car before. He was a naughty boy. It, yeah, he's not done a great job of that, has he? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, it's whatever they've done with, it, with what they've got. So, I, I don't know why it's like that, but that won't be flowing very well at all because it's going into the wrong bit. So, what we'll do is we'll remove that, mm -hmm. have a look. So you can buy um, this section either for an OE exhaust mm -hmm. or for a Miltec exhaust. And it may be that this section is for a Miltec exhaust. So okay. this section we can purchase cheap ah, enough. So it goes okay. from so there to an OE exhaust. So we'll have a look at that. It may be that it's the correct one and there's an adapter that's missing, mm -hmm. but we have things like, these are the adapters. Oh, so, bloody hell, you've got loads in there. Yeah, so basically that will go from there to there. Yeah, and with clamps, so you may you may just need that. It might be something simple, but you're not too concerned about that. No, not so that's the blowing exhaust there, is it, or is that more? That looks like that's the blowing exhaust. Yeah, so it doesn't look. The rest of the exhaust looks in really good condition. For, so is that's a stock back box, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's got, so it's got the vacuum, yeah, flap. The flap's working. Uh, oh, wicked! So it's the aluminium rear subframe car. Mm -hmm. So the, the these cars have an alley subframe or steel. Okay. I think the alley was up to. 08 and steel after potentially or the other way around can't yeah remember. but this is 07 so it might be the, what i've just said so uh, so it's an alley rear subframe uh, <laughs> and it's got obviously both rear springs are broke this one and this one snapped completely so both rear springs are broke is that yeah. what, what's this one worse the bottom bottom section is broke off completely that's why the car sits funny 
Okay. So when you're driving it, it feels weird. It feels horrible. Like it was... It's also got some random, I think that's a mud and snow. Yeah. So that's a, a winter mud and snow tire. It's got a mishmash of, mix, mix match of So if you tires. look at that disc and feel the brake, the handbrake isn't currently on, but it's catching. Yeah. So what it will be, the rear calipers will be pretty much seized. Mm -hmm. So what happens is they get super hot. So when, when you stop and put a handbrake on, mm -hmm. um, the handbrake goes on, and then when the pads and the disc cool down, they release. Okay. That's why the car's rolled down the drive. Oh, so, right, so the handbrake was on when I parked on the drive. Correct, it's cool because down. they were super hot, because they're still, because they're binding. So insane. then they got really hot, expanded, yeah. and then when you put it on, then the, what usually happens is they, they cool down, you hear it noise, <laughs> which is the pad releasing from a disc, and then your car's gone. <laughs> which is what I, happened. I once owned a Mark II Golf 16 valve, and, I found it about 300 yards down the road in no Swartz Garden, yeah. For the same week. reason? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was not a good experience. We was cracking up, weren't we, quite? So, <laughs> that's actually a good tyre, it's a Pirelli winter tyre. Oh, is it? Yeah. So. But the plan for the wheels and tyres, we're going to get RRT to refurb yeah, the wheels. Yeah, no, you wouldn't have that. I mean, you've got one winter tyre. No, one winter tyre. They're all, they're, I think they're all odd. They all look a bit odd, a bit so, worn out. New tyres, new wheels. Then I'm going to put spacers on. Okay, amazing. Spacer yellow, like diddly on. Yeah. Spacers, new bolts. And then um, I'm going to have a word with the guys at Racing Line. Because we've got broken rear springs, it makes sense to put a set of Racing Line springs on it. So I think that would be... Amazing, mate. Yeah. That sounds amazing. So this unloved, uncared for oh, Audi nice car It's, it's so, going to be a nice yeah, car, definitely. isn't it? Cool. So the only other things are the little bits on the interior, like the, the heater fan, um, oh, the screen. Heater, the heater dials or, you know, controller. Yeah. The red screen is... Yeah. Is off isn't it it's completely just so broken. we're gonna take that out yep. and give you the part number mm -hmm. there is various different ones they probably do all work but we'll give you the correct part number and then you can search that part number on ebay or whatever yep. and then ultimately cool. get, your, get yourself a second hand one glove box has fallen out we can get a new glove box for it as well right okay yeah just silly little things uh but obviously we can do them as the time the glove box itself is it just the lid it, falls the, down the hinges have just snapped oh okay yeah so, oh, right. so it just needs a glove box yeah that's yeah, not the end of the world so Cool, I'm actually glad you're quite positive about it, Will, to be honest, because I, I, on the drive up here for- Yeah, when you, you rang know, me, you were like, you're not gonna like this car. And I, you was, were like, oh, I was a bit disheartened, a bit deflated. Yeah, but I, if you think, it's only like, if you look at this, this is like the blue golf, we put springs on it to lower it. Yeah. It's the same with this. Put spaces on the Leon, it's the same with this. Mm -hmm. We haven't got to do anything with wheels and tyres, that's all taken care of. Yeah. Um, steering wheel, are you doing a steering wheel? So we steering wheels, yeah. Definitely, yeah, so yeah. Uh, we've now got a steering wheel. Spare, uh, one. spare one that we've took off the EOS out of the back. So uh, that, that was on Connor's car before. So we can put that on this and we've got a set of wheels here that we can put on so we can move the car around. Mm -hmm. So it won't take as long to do this one, yep. ultimately. So we've, it's, yeah, that's better for us. Brilliant. Um, and then, yeah, we can put it on the dyno and check it. And, but one, what I want to do, I don't want to dyno it yet. I want to do all this, you know, fix it all up first. Cool. And then hopefully when I take the rock over and the sump off, there's not. Any disasters to report. But so far we're feeling quite quite yeah, confident. I, yeah, I mean, well, he, dro he drove here from, um, yeah, from Luton. From Luton. Luton. So it wouldn't, you know, if it was that bad, it wouldn't have got here. Yeah. So you're right. Cool. Right. So we're going to leave this video as that now. We're going to put back to VRS in the next couple of weeks and hope. Well, I say couple of weeks as long as we'll need. It's going to need a bit of time because there's quite a lot that he's doing with his car, as you look and see. Uh, but the plan will be to get it all done, get the wheels done, get it looking presentable. Uh, get it mechanically sound, get it dynoed, and at that point we can then um, drive, it. drive it. We can do it. We can do a proper first drive because we actually ain't done a proper first drive in this mm -hmm. car yet. You're right, Kai. We need to drive it and show everyone how well it drives at that point. And then at that stage, we can then give it away to one of you lot. All right. So I will put a link to uh, Planet Dreams in the description below. If you haven't entered already, it's free for everyone to enter. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you're more than welcome to enter for free. Uh, if you're a dream catcher, you get entered five times into the competition, but that does cost you £9.99 a month. But it's completely optional, all right? Completely optional, entirely up to you. All right. So big shout out again to Will at VRS. The S3, I think it's going to make a lovely car for someone. It's going to take a bit of time, but it's going to be well worth it. Hope you like this video. If you did like this video, do me a favour. Hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're new. And if you're on Instagram, give me a follow on Instagram, at Calvin's Car Diary. And I'll see you on the next video. Can you say bye, Kai? Bye. Bye. bye.